It is fun to follow the leaks on the upcoming top tier i9 13900K and Ryzen 9 7950X processors to see what the cutting edge performance will look like by the end of this year. But I think we should pay more attention to what is happening at the mid-tier level with i5 13600K, because this year i5 is getting a huge upgrade, elevating it to a genuinely good option for creative professionals on a budget, while providing insanely good performance and smooth workflow experience previously available only to the i9 tier customers. And I have the data to back up this claim, as i5 13600K engineering samples have been tested in three productivity benchmarks in the last few days. So I feel like this is a good time to make an in-depth video on the upcoming Intel 13th Gen i5 13600K processor. I will cover its specs, release date, price, performance, and what implications this product will have on the state of the PC market this year as well as in the future. Spoilers, it is very significant. But first, an ad from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. Now about those specs. Let's compare i5 13600K to the currently available 12600K. 13600K has 14 cores and 20 threads consisting of 6 performance P cores and 8 efficiency E cores. 12600K features 10 cores and 16 threads with 6 P cores and 4 E cores. 12600K boosts to a maximum of 4.9 GHz, while 13600K is expected to bump that up to 5.1 GHz. Both CPUs are set to 125 Watt TDP, but 13600K will certainly have a higher PL2 value, resulting in an overall higher power consumption under heavy loads. According to the latest rumors, Intel will officially reveal i5 13600K, i7 13700K and i9 13900K during the Intel Innovation Day that is scheduled for September 27th and 28th. I think it makes the most sense for them to reveal the new processors on the 27th. However, the actual sales are planned to start sometime during the week commencing on October 17th. In terms of price, not much is known just yet. But I don't expect to see prices much higher than when the 12th gen initially launched. i5 12600K launched at $299 and I have seen it in stores for around $330 during the first few months. Now, a year later, it can be purchased for under $270. I expect to see a similar trend with the i5 13600K prices as well. Now let's talk about the most important part – the performance. In Geekbench 5 single core test, i5 13600K is better than the current flagship i9 12900K. It is worth noting that Intel 13th gen CPUs appear to be performing quite a bit better when paired with DDR5 memory compared to DDR4. It will be interesting to see if gaming performance is affected similarly, because right now it matters little if you have DDR4 or DDR5 in a gaming PC. In Geekbench multi-core test, 13600K comes very close to beating a 16-core 32-thread Ryzen 9 5950X. And it actually manages to overtake 5950X in Cinebench R23 multi-core test. 13600K is 1.3% better than 12900K and 28% better than 5950X in CPU-Z single-core. However, in CPU-Z multi-core test, it did not manage to dethrone the current generation flagship AMD and Intel processors, falling about 15% behind 5950X and 12900K. 
there is still a chance that we will see 13600K beat 12900K and 5950X in CPU Z as well as other benchmarks and workloads, because we don't know if 13600K was paired with DDR5 or DDR4 in this particular test. And as we have seen in the Geekbench test, DDR5 may improve the performance by a lot. I think we are entering the golden age of CPUs, all thanks to the healthy competition between AMD and Intel. Just several years ago, in 2017, i5-7600K had a measly 4 cores, 4 threads. That is less than i3s have nowadays and just 6 cores, 12 threads as a part of the 11th gen. In the 12th gen, i5-12600K, Intel increased it to 10 cores, 16 threads, and now we will get a 14 core, 20 thread goodness with the arrival of the 13th gen i5-13600K later this year. That is the i5 that beats the current generation i9 and Ryzen 9 CPUs in performance. Well, at least in some apps. I am very happy to see that more pros and semi-pros will be able to get their hands on the equipment with the level of performance that is currently available only to the flagship level product owners. This should help the global talent pool to grow, promoting competition and development across a wide range of industries, including YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and subscribe for more. It was I, Vadim, until next time.